Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I'm Odette Siva, and please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And today I'll be teaching you how to cook this delicious, your malicious native soup. So here are all the ingredients I'm using for this soup: red beef, cow's king pomo, prawn. Oziza leaf, periwinkle, fresh fish, blended fresh pepper and crayfish, red palm oil, pounded coconut, grated ginger salt, locust beef is optional in stock cube to taste so in a clean pot i added my beef uh, pomo locust beans ginger one stock cube salt and i'll be adding water for it to boil so now i've added water for it to boil and i'll just give it a good stir so I allow it to I allow the meat to cook for some minutes and now it's very soft and tender and now I'll be adding my fresh fish to the stock to the meat stock so I just stay for the stock to incorporate and so the fish will also cook as well so the water of the, the the stock is not really enough it will not be enough for me to cook the soup so i added water so that it will be enough for me to cook and i close for some minutes and now the fish is well cooked and now i added my red palm oil and i will just give it a very good stir for all the ingredients to incorporate into the soup so now i'm going to be adding my um, fresh pepper and crayfish that i've blended i'll add it and cover it for it to boil for about 10 minutes Yes, I like stirring my soup because I'm not using a non-stick pot, so I just stir continually for it to be okay. So now the meat, the fish is cooked, and I have to remove it because I don't want my fish to be scattered in the soup because I like eating my I like eating fish, so I want to see the fish when I'm eating it. So I'm really sorry for the smoke. I will try and work on my camera. So after I remove the fish, now I'll be adding periwinkle and oziza leaf, just like this. So I will see stir it for everything to incorporate very well, like for everything to mix together very well. So I'll stir it like so and i'll cover it for about five minutes for it to cook so after that i'll cover it for five minutes so now it's cooked and i'll just add the tikna which is the pounded kukuyam and add it to the soup for it to um dissolve very well and i'll give it a good stir for everything to incorporate very well mm, I wish how I wish I in my kitchen because my kitchen is smelling so good please guys try and um, try this recipe it's very very delicious you can easy to eat um, swallow and now our soup is cooked you can see the way it's beautiful and now I added um, I added back the cooked fish that I removed earlier. So now I'm going to 
uh, complete my seasoning by adding my stock cube and salt because I added one stock cube before to boil the meat and now I'm just completing the seasoning and now I'm going to give it a good stir but be careful for the fish not to just scatter in the soup so hmm this soup seriously I can't wait to eat this soup because I'm feeling hungry already hmm so now I'll cover it for it to simmer for some minutes on a low heat and now our soup is ready so our soup is ready you can see the way it's beautiful and the way it came out so everything is well cooked and oh my god i can't wait to eat the soup seriously so now you can join me i'm eating it already with swallow so please try this recipe and please like and subscribe to my youtube channel i love you guys bye